Jesus in the name of Naomi and Aja Asantiwa. All that is good and great, all that is blessed and beautiful, all that is creative and conscious. Welcome everyone. May you find yourself in a joyous space and may your successes be infinite like the night stars and your opportunities be never ending. Once again, a wonderful musician, Rick James, with his song, Standing on the Top, brings us into this another episode of Artist to Artist, Let's Talk, Rediscovering Our Creative Voice, a series dealing with the important issues that are germane to those of us in the creative field. Once again, I am Adisa Olabayo Bancoli, host of this series, uh, a professional, professional actor, storyteller, poet, drummer, and now venturing into the creative writing field, trying to write scripts and to be a lyricist. So come and join me as we travel down this path to stardom. Now, as always, you can leave your comments on my website, www.thepotentialartistinyou, and or shoot me an email at adisa at thepotentialartistinyou.com. Both of them are dot coms. And or say something to me on my YouTube channel and or Facebook. But, 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 but if you decide that you want to get into negativity and make uh, stupid kind of comments and things like that, keep that stuff to yourself. Like Sister Eric Badu, you know I'm I'm sensitive about my stuff. Okay. I will let you know that. Now, you know I've been doing this for maybe about a month or so, and I always give a section where I deal with the gratitudes and acknowledgments. And I say that it's important because sometimes, particularly those of us in the creative realm, we sometimes feel that we're journeying on this creative sojourn on us by ourselves, alone. But we're not. There are many people who have been with us and continue to be with us, and they give us their time, their energy, and sometimes their financial support. So it is very important that we acknowledge them, and they inspire, encourage us. So it's very important that, you know, we say, and it's my way of saying, thank you. Now, my first acknowledgement goes to my wonderful and beautiful nephew, Glenn Paul Jr., who is a wonderful baseball player. He is so eager to see me do my next project. Now, from this beautiful, wonderful young soul, even, even way back then, you know, I learned something from him. I learned perseverance because Junior was persevering in his profession as a baseball player. That's what he thought about being, and that's what he wanted, and he stuck to it. He stuck to it to the point where he began to reach the pinnacles of his profession with his talent and his skills. He became a player for the Houston Astros. That's right. He was in the Houston Astros. He is always encouraging and inspiring me as he patiently awaits my success, both creatively and financially. And I know that day come when he will be in that music, that movie house and see me on the big screen. That would be a lovely thing to do for him to see. My wish for him always is for him to continue his success. Now let me acknowledge this fellow a creative person whom I've had the pleasure to know since high school. And though he's no longer pursuing being a journalist, he still is incredibly encouraging and inspiring me to continue with my dreams. He has and still is hoping to see me achieving not only, like I said, creatively, but financially. I am proud to have and to call my brother, friend, and colleague, Brother Charles Mackey, as someone who continues to stand by me. 
kudos to him. And I hope, I hope, he starts pursuing his dreams again. I would love to see it, because I've heard him. And he's a wonderful DJ and a wonderful journalist. So, kudos to Brother Charles. Now, let us deal with the topic matter of this particular article that I entitled Success. Yes, it is something that Rick James was dealing with with his song, Standing on the Top. And here's a question that all creative expressionists should ask themselves, and it's just one me and Brother Willis and others often discuss, and that is, what if? Yes, what if you get that million dollar call from your agent, manager, director, or someone in position that has the power to propel you forward. Yes, what if you are offered a gig that for the first time in your long journey of doing minor but worthwhile creative endeavors, now you have been pushed into the limelight with fame and as Brother Dennis Brown would say, a pocket full of money. The question is, how you would react? What will this do to you? Is your character, your character on solid ground? Well, this question I cannot personally answer for you. But it is one that we all who are still climbing the ladder should consider. Now, I once read where there was a young lady who got cast in a television show. She began to have a huge following. Her role was expanded. The show and all who was her support centered now on her character. She was indeed becoming a bright light in the profession. However, success reared its sobering head. She decided it was weighing too heavy on her. She opted out of her contract. Now, that was good for her. The problem was that as she went, so did all the people who was her support in the, on the show went. I guess what I am giving voice to, I'm, I'm trying to say here, is... Be careful that your dreams of success doesn't overshadow your character. Now, let me digress here, because we've seen many, you know, biographies of, of, of famous people, talents, who, it, it, you know, the, the success, you know, really, really does something. And I think I remember... If I'm not correct, there was the, the movie Three's a Company and they started pushing the blonde head girl's character. You know? The same way with, I think, uh, a good time, they started pushing Jimmy Walker's and, and that success, that ego began to really play. Right? And it happens with, with many of us. And it happens with the musicians. It happens with the writers and everything. Now, in the movie The Temptation, there is a scene when all the fellows are showing up in their brand new Cadillac. But David Ruffin, David Ruffin shows up in a Rolls Royce. Otis comments that sometimes success will bring, the, will bring the real person out in you. Sometimes success will bring the real person out in you. That David became somebody they didn't recognize. This is important because success can be a double-edged sword, a mixed blessing. It can be one's fulfilled dreams or one's real dark nightmare. The important thing is to remember to enjoy the journey of creativity and let success come when it does. But remember, 
to take it easy. Because when it comes, you will be ready for it as much as anyone is and or can. Now, when President Barack Obama became president, he was not ready for the presidency. He was not ready for that success. When, you know, Al Pacino or Dustin Hoffman started becoming success, they weren't ready for it. When Jimi Hendrix and or The Temptations, like I was saying, they weren't ready for it. When a writer like Stephen King or anyone, you know, when that success happened, they're not ready for it. You see, I think sometimes those of us in the creative profession, we, you know, misery is our company. Failure becomes our friend. We sort of, we sort of wrap ourselves in that because we can't always see success because success seems to be at a distance. But again, when it comes, we, you know, will be ready for it just as much as anyone can. You will not know it until it happens. But in the meantime, keep plugging away, for each success is a stepping stone. But remind yourself that when that, as Priest would say in the film Superfly, when that big one the big one comes. Your character isn't crushed under the ego boulder. That your character isn't crushed under the ego boulder. This is Adisa Olomayo Bancale with another episode of Artist to Artist. Let's talk rediscovering our creative voice. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And in the meantime, this is what I want you to do. I want you to keep dreaming. I want you to keep conceiving. I want you to keep believing. But most of all, I want you to keep achieving. That's it.